wasn't about to do a video today, but Jid and Ski Mask are on the cipher, the part one. Wasn't gonna record a video to this, but I felt like since I feel like it's gonna be good, I kind of want to just experience it. I may do these for the others, uh, but if they're not really that great, I'll just scrap them. I really wanted to see what these two could do together. I mean, I got incredible enjoyment out of like, let's say 2016 with Davies and G Herbo. Two guys that I know are pretty good rappers. Uh, on a cypher together, I don't really feel like much could go wrong. Jit and Ski Mask made it in my top two for my best and worst out of the freshman freestyle. So this should be a good cypher. I have no more talking to do. Let's get into the cypher. I want to hear what they have to say and let's discuss it afterwards. Let's go. Little cold and flaming. Lame niggas, I gotta put it in lamest terms. I'm finna murder you niggas. You better live life like a baby that was dead at birth but came alive and fucked the nurses. If you need to be sleeping on me, we can make it permanent and leave them thinking he really permeated, he really reeking. They got me really beaming, but I'm not the team. I, that's what I like about Jid. He basically just said, I'm going to kill you. He's like, if you're sleeping on me, we can make it permanent. Leave him stinking. Uh, he'll really be permeating. That just paints such a vivid picture. Like the image that he paints with his lyrics just like give me such a, a vivid picture of what's happening. Like that line made me instantly think of uh, the intro of Boys in the Hood. In the butcher, who wants to be chop arm, leg, head, package me. Sacrificial lamb, satisfactory. Smack him with the hand, don't talk back to me. I'm going to pause as many times as I fucking want. Get off the video. It's the butcher who wants the beef and he mentions all these parts that he could take off of these rappers to just discombobulate the rap game that's what he does it's like he's unintentionally accurately describing himself like he pulls himself apart and puts himself back together with the intricacies of his flow on his freestyles and in his song and i know he was talking to the rap game but i feel like he dismembers everything he does anyway i'd have been a fans now i need wings out of in the jungle trees tumble bees bumble weed crumble yeah sling slung wood oh lumber in the hood so be est with the rap's and rip your rhyme sound old dm co ld and i ain't drop no lp i'm so old i know og hold up so OLD. nah you did drop an LP though. Again, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Saying your rap style is old, but I'm cold could have been way cornier if he just said the word, but he spelled it out, adding to the uh, extensive material of his flow, making the bar itself longer so he can stay on track with the beat, on pace with the beat. That's what I mean when I say technical rapping, because that takes that takes skill. Yo, bitch, want me, my filet, me young. I'm by the keys, deep in her throat, letting it go on her body, no bump. Facts are dumb, no ceilings like Wheezy, but she feeling linen, because I took the chicken up into a picket, but fuck all the kid me my llama. Black diamonds like Coney, matter of fact, Obama, my jury, Sergeant Car Car like a frogger. <laughs> Flashy like lights on a router. <laughs> I didn't say water, I'm out of He just said dodging the cars like frogger. Flashy lights like a router. Um I like his Wayne in No Ceilings reference as a, you know, homage to Wayne's uh remix mixtapes i feel like some of the lines here from ski mask like don't really end up amounting to anything because they come in at like awkward parts like um speaking about wayne and then speaking about meeting his llama and just rhyming that with obama and i get the point of plaque diamonds but loving that mcdonald's like i get it ski mask i love his flow i love how technical of a rapper he is i love how he doesn't take himself seriously but has that talent has that ability to uh, one day, in my opinion, be a very strong lyricist that doesn't have to be taken so seriously uh, in the lane of conscious rap. I just feel like the bars that he puts out here don't really go together. I mean, they don't have to be, um, you know, uh, conscious or, or, or like thought out or, you know, have this deep message to it. I just want it to be uh, somewhat, you know, cohesive or make some sense or be like, you know, centered around something. Otherwise, the bars come out like they don't really make sense. Also, he did the same thing X did last year, which was stop the beat and do his own thing, which I don't mind. I think he still would have sounded great on the beat, but that, I mean, in my opinion, I think that's kind of like the point of this is to, you know, see how you are uh, able to rap over the beat, how you sound over the beat, how well you can rhyme over the beat. Basically connect your rapping and your flow to the beat and basically go according to where the beat is taking you as opposed to where you want to go yourself you know having to be confined to the instrumental while still showing people your talent as a rapper uh, and i just felt like he didn't really do that uh still the freestyle the cypher itself is good i like that jid and ski mask both seem very comfortable on the stage uh, giving their performances um, makes me feel like you know like I said their live shows are just as energetic just as hard-hitting just as um, confident Jid's being very braggadocious letting people know that he's come to take the crown you know he's the you know next name in rap he rolled the beat 
perfectly in my opinion. I'm actually happy to see Sunny Digital back because last year I feel like he didn't really get I mean, I know he had the opportunity. I just didn't feel like they gave really great beats last year. So I'm liking the beat selection, at least for the first part of the cypher this time around. I really like one of Jid's uh, lines in his freestyle or in his cypher where he says like, I've been a, I've been a fan, but now I need wings. Kind of just saying that I'm in the position of the people that I used to support now, you know? So I need uh, that support. I need that wind beneath my wing. The, the same fan that I was to someone else, I need them to be a fan to me now. Even though he didn't really seem to be going anywhere specific with his cypher, I just felt like he was still centered around a main focus or had a topic, which made the rapping come off a little bit more connected as opposed to Ski Mask that just was everywhere. Still enjoyed them both. Uh, would have liked to see a little bit more from Ski Mask when it comes to uh, integrating himself within the beat, seeing how well he could rap over more traditional style beats, the beats that don't really have that uh, janky or, or wacky kind of production that he normally gets from all of his other producers on his own music. But yeah, other than that, I enjoyed it. Uh, I liked them both probably going to be the best one but uh we'll still stay posted and listen out for for the rest because i want to see what the rest of the freshmen can do also i'm curious to know if these two got their own cypher um there are now eight people left no no no. there's seven people left are they going to put four people on one cypher and three on the other because i would have thought it would have made most most sense to put three three and three but i guess they're not doing that uh, let me know in the comment section how'd you feel about the freestyle do you think jid ripped it did you think ski mask ripped it i'm out thank you for watching i'll see you next time Peace.